Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gershwan, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today we continue talking about corn as we get into the blood crushers. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We post Warhammer 40K content every single day. And of course, if you have any suggestions, just comment down below. Also, share this with your friends if you find it interesting. It really helps out the channel when you do so. But with that said, let's get into 40 Facts on the Blood Crushers. A blood crusher is one of the members of the shock cavalry of Korn's demonic blood legions, a deadly combination of blood letter rider and a juggernaut steed. These demonic mounts of Korn are neither beasts nor machines, but demonic fusions of both. They are massive creatures whose flesh is brass, whose sinews are iron, and whose blood is fire. Their breath is fear, and their every step is thunder. Only the most favored of Korn's demonic followers are granted the boon of a juggernaut to ride to battle. Such an undertaking is not for the weak, for a bloodletter must drag forth its chosen mount from the blood god stockade and survive long enough to break the homicidal steed. Many an aspiring demon has left upon the back of an enraged juggernaut, only to be thrown and crushed into an unrecognizable smear. However, once mastered, a juggernaut becomes the most lethal of all war mounts. Small arms fire patters harmlessly from its hive, merely serving to enrage the demonic beast further. Only the heaviest weapons have a chance of piercing its armored skin, and by the time such armaments are brought to bear, it is usually too late. Once the armored cavalry of Korn begin their lumbering charge, nothing can deter them from their course. With broad heads lowered and powerful legs pistoning them onward, blood crushers are likened to unstoppable battering rams. They are momentum embodied. They smash their way through stone walls and steel barricades alike without ever slowing down. Sparks cascade in their wake as they batter through obstacles, lowering their blades and brutal heads for the collision they know is coming. The ground itself shakes with fear under the demonic cavalry's heavy tread, and directed by the murderous intent of the blood letters atop of them, they crash into the terrified foe with the force of a gigantic sledgehammer, sending lifeless bodies flying in all directions and trampling underfoot anything foolish enough to remain in their way. Once embroiled in the press of combat, Juggernauts will crush those that stand before them with the ease of a man wading through long grass, each new kill coating their legs with fresh blood and gore. Horns gashing and gutting, teeth gouging and tearing, the demonic mounts bull their way through any melee. From their broad backs, the bloodletters bring their hellblades down in great arcs to behead those enemies still standing. Blood crushers take no prisoners and show no mercy. All are fodder to the insatiable appetite for slaughter. Blood crushers can be found in any of Korn's army, used as bludgeoning wedges to break enemy battle lines or smash through fortifications. The Brazen Thunder Legions are particularly formidable, for they are based upon cohorts made up of blood crushers and led by the mounted heralds of Korn, known as Skullmasters, the elite lesser demons of Korn. Their earth-shaking stampede creates the bass sound for which these legions are named a gut-churning reverberation that has eroded the resolve and sanity of many great warriors and generals. Anyone brave or foolish enough to stand their ground in the face of this stampede are crushed beneath the brass hooves of the cavalry of Korn. Entire Astra Militarum tank companies are nothing to them. This wrecking ball charge has leveled fortresses, flattened exodited temples, and brought down imperial knights. While a single pack of blood crushers can annihilate an army, an entire legion of them, can decimate a world. These demonic riders have also been reported in large numbers fighting alongside the corn bloodthirster known as Gorlord, a greater demon of the blood god corn who leads a mixed host of demonic entities who serve both corn and slanash, an unusual demonic alliance that is known as the brazen host. The Gorlord has a hundred blood crushers known as the skull riders that serve as a vanguard force for the brazen host. The elite of this vanguard force is called the Sons of Wrath. Capable of the most murderous charges, they trample the enemy underfoot in an unstoppable tide of demonic fury. This elite force is sworn personally to the Gore Lord, as they are bound to him for eternity or until they are able to claim 100 billion souls. By continuing to serve the Gore Lord, the murderous carnage left in the wake of the brazen host attack is enough to slake their thirst for slaughter. The brazen host's coming and the carnage they would wreak in their wake was foretold during the middle years of the 34th millennium by the scholar and psyker Castle and Fair. 
And those were 40 facts on the blood crushers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media you guys use. And please hit the like button. By hitting the like button, you not only tell YouTube that you want to see more content from us, but you specifically say that you want to see content with the same tags as are on this video. So you're going to be getting a lot of corn lore, 40k lore, uh, but most importantly, you know, blood for the blood god type uh, lore videos. Uh, and again, it helps out the channel when you do so. The Blood Crushers are an awesome uh, unit. Uh, the combination of two really awesome demons of corn. Um, the one thing, once I, the first time that I saw a Juggernaut, I thought it was it looked cool, but it was definitely very fantasy. And I think it's because it was originally created for the fantasy uh, world, not so much the sci-fi world of 40k. So uh, while I enjoyed the look of the whole um, um, juggernauts, I didn't feel like it, it, if it fit right in a Chaos Space Marine army or an even like a demon army for sci-fi or for Warhammer 40k. Um, it wasn't until I started seeing like uh, conversion works on Daka Daka uh, and now Instagram that um, I see that yes, there's, there's many ways to like twist a juggernaut um, and, and make him look menacing and badass. Uh, especially because the look of a of a juggernaut is brass, it's metal. So when you think sci-fi, you don't think of, of, of brass and metal. You think of more, I don't know, like there has to be like a plasma drive somewhere or, or something of that nature. Um, so that kind of pushed me away. But I think, you know, as conversion works continue to 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 up the, the, the look of the blood crushers, I am starting to enjoy them more. Now, as far as the, the game is concerned... I feel like they were kind of, um, they weren't given the right stats for their lore. Um, these guys are cavalry, they're menacing. And yes, I understand that they are heavy, they are made of metal, uh, they are demonic creatures who um, crush the ground with every step they take. But why give them an eight move, an eight inch move? Um, why not do the whole, you know, 12 or, or even 10 inch move? Moving two extra inches more than a regular uh, marine or a regular demon, I don't think does the, the lore justice. I wish they were a lot faster with, uh, with 8th edition. Now in melee, I do feel that they did them a little bit more justice just because they are very devastating when attacking weaker non-armored units. So if you have a squad of three blood crushers, they charge into a squad of 30 boys. Um, you're going in there with each one of them doing six attacks plus uh, the seven strength uh, or add seven strength plus the Hellblade. You're going to be killing a lot of boys. Uh, now, of course, that's because they aren't armored. Uh, if you go into a squad of Terminators, that's when you kind of run into the trouble because you're only doing AP minus one for the for six attacks. And then the seventh one is AP minus three. But again, it's it's. Um, they, got a, they have a plus two save, or most heavily armored units have a two plus save. I'm talking about Terminators, I'm talking about the um, the, the Necron, what are they called? The, the Bodyguards Praetorians, I think they're called. Um, so they're not so good for that type of infantry. Um, and, and they're not so great either for, um, for hitting uh, tanks and whatnot, because there's a lot of wounds. And you are inflicting a lot of wounds on the charge, but after that you kind of just like simmer down. Um, so I wish that they were a little more deadly, um, or if, I wish they had some special rule for the charge other than just giving them a plus two for the um, strength and, and plus three for their, their attack. Um, like I wish they had something else, some, some cool um, inventive rule for the charge. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There are so many awesome uh, conversion works uh, with Juggernauts being ridden by Chaos Space Marines. If you like the concept of blood crushers and you want to implement that into your chaos space marine war band but you don't really want to bring in blood crushers or you want to make them a little better this is what you do you don't buy the chaos space marine starter set um for 40k you go to age of sigmar and you buy the um the the starter set that they have there i can't remember what it's called okay it's the corn bloodhound starter set you're gonna get some Great looking models, better looking models than I feel are within the Chaos Space Marine uh, list. You're going to get some really good 
just regular Chaos Space Marines, but you're also going to get three Blood Crushers that are going to be mounted by the Corn Knights, I think they're called in, in Age of Sigmar, or I, I can't remember what they're called in Age of Sigmar, but you convert them, give them guns, um, make them look more sci-fi-ish, and um, then you just have Space Marines riding on uh, Juggernauts, which are awesome. And if you really like the look of the model, and if you have managed to create some type of um, special unit that your your friends allow you to play within the, the game, or even if you use these units, um, these Space Marines riding as Juggernauts as like Chaos Space Marines on bikes, if they have them still. Uh, but whatever it is, what you could do is you can buy the Mighty skull crusher box set it's a hundred dollars but it comes with um, a total of six of these uh, skull crusher uh, models and like i told you these models look way better than anything you're going to find in the uh, chaos space marine line age of sigmar is getting a lot of love um and and the models are just absolutely amazing so i would recommend you do that but again guys thanks for listening to me rambling about uh, blood crushers and um, if you guys have any other suggestions, just comment down below. Don't forget we have a Patreon. A simple dollar a month helps us create more videos for you guys. If you can't support us on Patreon, we simply understand. By liking, commenting, and sharing, it helps out the channel. But with that said, I'll talk to you tomorrow. This is Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate signing out.